Hey everyone, Arnold here with OEV. I'm um, sitting here with a uh, person I met a long time ago, what, three years ago? Yeah, it's been three years, yeah. It's got to be three years. Uh, Tanya. Tanya approached us about three years ago. She was, she, uh, we won't mention what she had before, but uh, she was looking at something different. We met at Expo West. Mm -hmm. And every year after that, she always migrated back and we talk a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more about what she was needing out of a camper. Um, would you mind sharing with us uh, what what you do for fun? Like what's what's your idea of recreation? You recently retired, I understand. Congratulations. Thank you. That's great. Um, I'm very jealous. Um, so outside of just purchasing stuff for your camper and going crazy, that's kind of an inside joke between myself and Tanya, but um, what do you do for fun now that you're retired? What are you going to do with your camper? Uh, well, so the main reason why I got this camper um, is really the, the quality of it, coupled with my favorite feature, which is the 360 windows. No one, right. else, no one else has the 360 windows, no matter whether you're sitting or in the bed. Yeah. Um, and when you're, you know, when you're needing to get out of the rain or whatever, and you, most nobody thinks about that. What are you doing? And you want to still have that. So this was one of my favorite features. But in terms of like, what am I doing with this setup, mm -hmm. this crazy setup that uh, I really absolutely love. It mm -hmm. came together like the multiple conversations that we had and the hundreds yeah. of hours. I, I, I know your voice by the video as soon as the video starts. Right. I've, I've yeah. watched your YouTube videos. <laughs> I don't know yeah. how many times. Yeah. Uh, but I, I have... Um, uh, side by side and I've got a Jeep yeah so this mainly is for going out originally was for going out with the side by side and uh, taking the Jeep and now I'm capable to go anywhere with anywhere. this yeah and so I mean it's got 440 uh, watts of solar 300 yeah. amp hours uh, red battery. arc batteries yeah. so air conditioning and so I mean this thing is just so dialed with mm -hmm. all the all the things you know it's it's definitely glamping for sure with this uh, but where i want to go with it is literally everywhere chase the sun in the winter yeah 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 i'm gonna I, my plan for next summer is to go up to the arctic ocean i want to do that nice um and then uh i've already been in like i've had it for two months and i've already been in five different states yeah. and before this couple weeks is over i'll be in montana and idaho yeah. right on <laughs> And next year, we'll also be having um, some, well, I don't even know what we're going to call them. Uh, they're going to be like OEV rallies. Oh, an owner's so, rally. Owner's rally, yeah. yeah. So hopefully you'll be able to join us on one or more of those. Yeah, that'd be cool. Try and do those a couple of times a year. Yeah, that'd be so, fun. That's great. So um, if you wouldn't mind me asking, uh, like you built quite a rig, hmm. like truck. You got it laid out. This is something that you've been working on for a long time. You worked with one of our dealers. Mm -hmm. Which dealer was that? Uh, Basil's down in uh, Basil's Garage down yeah. in Vista. Yeah. And he was wonderful. Uh, we collabed with mm -hmm. this. You know, I went down. I first met uh, one of his guys, Colby, yeah. first before I met him. He was on vacation. Right. But then uh, I came back to the shop, and John, who was one of your other customers, mm -hmm. uh, he came in and let me look at. His at truck, his rig, at yeah. his rig while it was there, and um, uh, but a couple of months before I pulled the trigger with it, I had a lot of conversations with Basil yeah. about you know what the truck was going to yeah. be and what we were going to do yeah. in terms of the the camper itself, and I just really enjoyed just his laid back style yeah. and you know and didn't you know he he nudged on certain suggestions yeah. and uh, um, really I really liked that <clears throat> style of yeah. of uh, suggestions mm -hmm. for my build mm -hmm. and uh in the end you know we came up i think with a killer build this thing is dialed in it's absolutely dialed in uh yeah no i i, I always encourage our customers to to reach out to our dealers because they're not they're not just they're not just selling campers mm. they're they they live breathe this type of outdoor overlanding camping all that and yeah. they've got a lot of knowledge and a lot of information they can share. So I'm happy you, you're able to do that. Yeah, and I really like Basil. My level of comfort with him and his skill set mm -hmm. in the shop. Uh, I did this in one stop. Yeah. He took my truck for two months yeah. and built it up. And I was really uh, 
happy that he understood what I was looking for yeah. and uh, I felt comfortable Good. doing all the business one-stop shop with him yeah. at, at that point in time. And it was really, really because of him and his shop yeah. and the way he puts things together. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We got to quit talking. We gotta, can't, can't put him on a pedestal because his head's just going to go. <laughs> but no, no, they do a great job down there and we really appreciate him. Appreciate him. So why, why OEV? Why, why did you choose us? Because you, you, you know, you're, you're, you're no different than most of our customers. You, you, you've worked hard your entire life and you're, you're planning into retirement and then you, you, you choose our product. And that, that's, that's really humbling for one thing. We mm. appreciate that and we thank you. But why, why us? Well, it, it, without mentioning others, yeah. I'll just simply say that um, yours is like the modern version of what campers, in my opinion, should be. Mm -hmm. And you, you take customer input and you innovate. And a lot of other folks uh, in this business, they kind of get set in their way and they don't really want to do any changes. In fact, mm -hmm. um, I had one of them tell me, you know, why do you want an auto lift roof? That's just something that's gonna break. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you just lost me as a customer, you know? Well, it's hard, like as a manufacturer, I can tell you, like you're making changes all the time. It's hard, especially in production. So I can mm -hmm. relate to what they're saying sure. to a certain degree. But at the same time, I think it's really important that uh, we continue to evolve as a company because all, all sorts of different ancillary products become available all the time. Right. And we'd be fools just to stand on the sideline and watch somebody else do it. Yeah, well, and I know- We like, want our like, customers to have a good product. Right, well, and you, um, one of your newer videos of the, I think it was the 2023 release of the Hudson Bay where mm -hmm. you initially had the countertop not open. Right. And I remember Oof. seeing you after the, the feedback. First, the, yeah, I remember seeing you <laughs> like not too long after yeah. that had been released, and I was like, "Hey, yeah. are you guys gonna?" And you're like, "Nope, we're gonna change that. Yeah. We're gonna leave it as oh, an no, option." Yeah. And my ears and, were ringing. <laughs> yeah, the phone was ringing, the email was ringing, everything was ringing. I'm like, "Okay, all right." <laughs> well, and I and I liked. I, I thought, yeah. "Oh, that's cool." You know, that because, like I said, I, I I had, I mean the amount of money that I spent on this, mm -hmm. I, I didn't, I wasn't limited on what my choices were. I could have right. made, you know, probably 80% yeah. of what's out here was available to me as mm -hmm. a choice, mm -hmm. like a legitimate choice. And um, I thought your responsiveness to change and the quality of your product, I mean, mm -hmm. it hands down, anybody that sees these things, they look at, they're like, man, this thing's built like a tank. That's what a mm -hmm. lot of people yep. say, that it's built like a tank. And, um, and and I really appreciate that because I'm like, yeah, you know, there's there's some others that have some stuff that you're like, man, you're spending a good amount of money right. for these things. Yeah. And to see staples and glue and stuff, it's just yeah. like, ooh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know lots of people want that sticker and you might even want that sticker. No wood, no staples, no bullshit. Oh, no, I've not but, seen that. Yeah. It's a sticker that it's in short circulation but anyways okay well um, yeah but but then it also uh leads to the condensation i've not yeah. i've been in hot and cold in this and and varying temperatures throughout the day yeah. where we'll start off at like 90 and mm -hmm. then we get down to like 40 something at night and wake up in the morning and i looked around and i'm like no no yeah. condensation this high and, desert is like that right like mm -hmm. it's just hot cold yeah amazing yeah and but huh so okay Thanks for that. Um, what about, what do you see for room? You, you, incidentally, you've got the Hudson Bay uh, 6.75 foot, mm. Illumitray 6.75 foot on a GM AT4 HD. Um, is there anything that you wish that we had done differently on the Hudson Bay 6.75 foot? What would you recommend we change? If there's one thing we could change, what would it be? One thing we could change, wow. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, because it's the 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 one thing that would change. Well, you know what? Okay. Or improve upon. Uh, well, it would be a totally. It would totally be a, a design change. Yeah. It, it, and it's your first version of the Hudson Bay, where but it totally yeah. changes the galley because <clears throat> yeah. it had the um, the 
the shower and the toilet kind of as a wet bath. Right. But you walked in and you yeah. hung it, and then yeah. the kitchen and everything was on this side. That's right. Um, I I really liked the ease of that. Yeah. Uh, of you know, so I'm always. That's kind of what I was getting away from. My last build mm -hmm. had everything in boxes, and so I wanted to do as few things in a box, have a thing, everything to nest. Right. Um, if if there was a way to have more storage, but I mean, I'm just you know, I got I, I got stuff, but mm -hmm. um, uh, the uh, I, I actually find that I've got enough uh, storage, storage for yeah. things, um, but I mean, you can. You know, you can never okay. go wrong with like maybe having full access. I don't know. Maybe it's because of the way that it tilts up in the bed. So the, right. the um, cause I, I didn't realize that I could shove things underneath under. the front <laughs> section. Yeah. 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 Uh, but then it's going to be tricky getting it out. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I really I would have to give that some more thought. But okay. um, I I love it. Oh, we okay. always love constructive feedback. I do. OK, now I do have something. Good. It just it yeah. just popped in my head. I bought a ladder. Yes. To get into the bed. Okay. And out of the bed. Yeah. So some way having another step yeah. to get in. Because I was doing like these weird acrobatics. Do you have up. the king bed extension? I do. Okay. So that that step you're saying is not in the right place because it's 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 angled off. I know exactly what you're talking about. People, yeah. they're not going to understand what I'm talking about. So I, I won't try and talk okay. much more about it. But I know what you're talking about, and we are looking at that. Okay, yeah. yeah. If I had just someplace yeah. else, because like it's really awkward. And then I found myself crawling on top of the uh, the cabinet, the water yeah. cabinet, to get into bed and coming down that way. Yeah, just so that that's I wasn't... inconvenient. Yeah, I so, get I just, it. so I just bought a little ladder. I bought, I bought a little ladder, yeah. and it, it, yeah. you know, and I put it on the bed. And so, but that was. We want it to be safe, so it's it's absolutely something we can do. That's the only thing. In terms of everything else, um, um, well, okay, maybe an easier way to lift that table into mm -hmm. position. Like, I find sometimes that I'm pretty strong, mm -hmm. but it's still heavy because it's an awkward yeah um, yep. way to like because you have to seat it over the lip and get it just so to yeah. put it. Put it on to the uh, to that spot. Yeah. And like I said, I, I'm strong, but I, I think somebody may be a little. Not yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough one. I don't know how we address that. It's something that we've looked at a few times, but we'll continue to look at it and figure tequila. out a different mouse trap. Tequila. This is tequila, tequila, by the way, everyone. <laughs> this is um, tequila. Yeah, she's feisty. She's, Fifteen years of feisty. She's Mama like, mamas? what is going on? Yeah, mamas. Like, there's people over there. Might they might have treats. I think she finally sees that other dog over there. But anyways. <laughs> hey, 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 I know mamas. I know. Oh, mamas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But All cool. Right. I, uh, we'll wrap it up. But um, hey. thanks very much. And if there's anything else that we can do to improve the product, you know, reach out to us. Uh, we're, we are going to address some of these things that you are talking about. And uh, we appreciate your your confidence in us yeah no i love and it we thank I, you for joining the oev family thank you no that's it i couldn't be happier and i can't go to a gas station walmart uh even other rv parks people all come yeah. over here and be like what is this Where, yeah what? it's it takes some getting used to doesn't it yeah there yeah. a lot of people have well first of all they're they're not familiar with the oev brand Product, yeah but then the styling of it is unique striking yeah yeah and so i, I get a lot of get a lot of people that you know i give tours of this thing i, have, I, I don't know time. if my qr quote is unique to me or not right on okay well thanks very much thank you and happy journeys thank you so once again guys uh wraps up our uh, our testimonials by customers uh oeb built to conquer built to last